Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily for this week's edition of Euro Transfer Talk. There's a lot to squeeze into this one, so let's get straight into the biggest stories from the last seven days. Perhaps the biggest news from across the continent over the last week was concerning the future of Paolo Dybala, who is set to see his seven-year association with Juventus come to an abrupt end this summer. This comes very soon after it was believed the 28-year-old would indeed put pen to paper, with Dybala even investing in gifts for his teammates to celebrate his supposed new deal. However, the contract offer was rescinded after the Argentine's representatives reportedly wanted to negotiate the deal following Dusan Vlahovic's arrival in Turin. Whilst the 7 million euros a year offered to Dybala would have put the attacking duo on the same level, it suggested that his entourage wanted a commission to match that of the Serb. This was something the Juve hierarchy were unwilling to bend to, resulting in the initial agreement being torn up and Dybala being allowed to walk. So, naturally, conversation turns to where the forward will be playing football next season, and whilst Atletico Madrid, Man City and PSG have all been suggested as potential destinations, the real outcome could be a lot closer to home. In a move not entirely unfamiliar in Serie A, it is actually Inter Milan that have emerged as early favourites for Dybala's signature. This comes as Lautaro Martinez is expected to be highly sought after again this summer, with clubs in both England and Spain intent on moving for Dybala's international teammate. If they can ensure the arrival of the former Palermo man, then it means the Niazzurri are a lot more likely to listen to offers for their current attacking talisman. Inter plan on cutting Chilean internationals Alexis Sanchez and Artaro Vidal at the end of this campaign, and it's believed that the spare money will help fund a move for Dybala. Although, as it stands, the player himself isn't convinced by switching the Allianz Stadium for the San Siro. He's known to have a strong bond with the Biancaneri faithful, and in December, according to Tuto Sport, he said he would not want to betray them by following in the footsteps of the likes of Antonio Conte and Vidal. The way this has all fallen, though, could change Dybala's outlook, and it is expected to be some time before we learn of his new team. We want to hear from you guys though. What do you make of the entire Dybala situation? And where do you think he'll be playing his football come August? Let us know in the comments below. Elsewhere in Italy, it looks like Napoli chairman Aurelio De Laurentiis is up to his old tricks. The 72-year-old who priced Kaladu Koulibaly out of a move a few years ago before almost putting the entire first-team squad up for sale during an internal crisis in 2019 is again pulling out the stops to ensure that Victor Osman remains at the Stadio Diego Armando Maradona beyond the summer. The Nigerian got off to a slow start upon his 75 million euro move from Lille to Napoli in 2020, with injuries interrupting his debut Serie A campaign. He did, however, finish the season with 10 goals for his 16 league starts, and has already topped that total this term, with 11 goals in just 20 top flight matches as his side mount a challenge for the Scudetto. Arsenal and Manchester United have been strongly linked with a move for the 23-year-old, whilst Liverpool, Newcastle, Spurs and Real Madrid have all shown interest in recent months. But in order to keep hold of his number 9, filmmaker De Laurentiis has slapped a 100 million euro price tag on the striker, according to Italian outlet Corriello dello Sport. Osman, who has 10 goals in 18 matches for the Super Eagles, still has three years remaining on his current deal in Naples and is said to be happy in southern Italy whilst they continue to qualify for Champions League football. But do you think anyone would be willing to stump up the monumental asking price? Let us know in the comments below. A trip across the Mediterranean next for an outrageous story emanating from Spain, where Catalan newspaper Sport is suggesting that Robert Lewandowski is preparing to swap Bayern Munich for Barcelona. The outlet is even going as far as to suggest that the poll has agreed a deal in principle to join Xavi's side, with the Blaugrana now just needing to come to an agreement on a fee with his current employers. Obviously, it's not going to be easy to prize Lewa away from Bavaria. He might be 33 years old, but the Polish international has scored 339 goals since his arrival at the Allianz Arena in 2014, second to only Gerd Müller in the all-time charts. Lewandowski broke the German legend's single-season Bundesliga 
Bundesliga scoring record last campaign with 41 strikes and with 31 goals as an ever-present in Bayern's 27 games this campaign could be on course to achieve that feat in back-to-back -back years. But why would the first name on Julian Nagelsmann's team sheet want to leave, especially as he is on the cusp of winning his eighth consecutive league title? Well, according to Sport, the motivation is personal. If Lewandowski can be part of the Barcelona side that returns to the pinnacle of European football, he'd likely be a shoo-in for the Ballon d'Or, the award that has evaded him for the last couple of seasons. With the contract expiring in summer 2023, it might be easier for Lewandowski to force a move if this is what he desires, as Barcelona are preparing a bid of 50 million euros for the striker, although are willing to move up to 60 million euros should they need to. That almost feels like a bargain for the world's best goalscorer of recent seasons. But do you think that Xavi, Joan Laporta and co are capable to pull such a move off, considering the complexity of their financial situation? As always, comments down below, please. Regardless of who moves to the camp now in the summer though, there will be upheaval as Barcelona once more look to become a footballing force. And one of the victims of that appears to be Memphis Depay, who now looks set to leave the club just one year after being their biggest signing in the summer 2021 window, when he arrives on a free from Lyon. The Dutchman started his spell in Catalonia relatively strong, providing eight goals and two assists in his first 15 La Liga games for the club, before hamstring and Achilles issues saw him miss 13 matches across all competitions between December and February. And whilst he spent time on the sidelines, a new look shabby side began to thrive without him. As a result, the 28-year-old hasn't started a game since the end of last year, and despite two goals in his first two matches back last month, does not appear to be in the club's long-term plans following the arrival of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Adama Traore, as well as numerous other rumours linking Barcelona with a myriad of attacking talent. Having only signed a two-year deal, Barca are looking to cash in on the former Manchester United man and the Premier League is looking like his most likely destination this summer. Tottenham Hotspur are the current favourites for his signature, although Napoli retain an interest in Depay as a replacement for the outgoing Lorenzo Insigne. Spurs though are looking to gain a step on their Italian counterparts, as Mundo Deportivo say Antonio Conte's side have already made an offer for the attacker. Whilst no fee has been mentioned and any money changing hands would represent a profit for Barca, it's not expected to exceed the £25 million Man United paid for the player back in 2015. If he can replicate his last season at Lyon, it could be a bargain. Not all the news in Spain though is coming from Barcelona, as their El Clasico rivals are preparing for a big summer too. Whilst it feels like just a matter of time before we finally get the Kylian Mbappe confirmation, and rumours suggesting Erling Haaland's preferred destination is also the Bernabeu, Carlo Angelotti is also keen on improving his side's defence too. And with long-term servant Marcelo set to move on and Ferlan Mendy not quite impressing enough at left-back, it looks like the Italian will be making a move for Arsenal's Kieran T. The 24-year-old, signed from Celtic for £25 million in 2019, is already established as one of the senior players in the squad and has been an ever-present in Mikel Arteta's lineup since early December, when the Gunners started their surge into the final Champions League spot. According to the Sunday Post, Los Blancos are lining up a £50 million bid for Tierney, who has made 87 appearances in North London after a stop-start first couple of campaigns in the Premier League thanks to an array of injuries. Arsenal would be hard pushed to find as complete a fullback as Tierney should he move on, so will no doubt do what they can to hold on to the Scottish international. And we end this week's Euro transfer talk with a player that Arsenal are interested in. It appears that Everton striker Dominic Calvert Lewin could be on the market this summer, regardless of whether or not the Toffee secure Premier League football for next season. And the 25 year old could even be available for less than the £60 million they were quoting for their number nine last time around. It suggested the England international could be available for 50 million quid, despite having an underwhelming campaign at Goodison Park, hampered by injury and poor form. 
DCL hasn't found the back of the net since August, when he opened the season with three goals in three games, despite being back in the squad since the turn of the year. Regardless, Calvert-Lewin remains a prized commodity, as both Newcastle and West Ham retain an interest in the marksman and could rival Arsenal for his signature come the transfer window. But, despite Newcastle's financial power and West Ham's upward trajectory, Arsenal finding themselves in the Champions League next season could be the deciding factor. So that was this week's Euro transfer talk, but have we missed out on any other big rumours? Let us know in the comments below and what you thought of these rumours and will they actually happen? Let us know right down there. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash that like button. Click on screen right now for more Euro Football Daily content. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.